Hi and welcome to another Festive Fridays and today I'm sharing another 6x6 card. Remember last Friday I did use one of those four blocks and today I didn't want to bring in even more supplies so I'm going to play with the same products that I used for the previous card. And I decided to go with a shaker card today and to use that beautiful wreath. And here is the card that I shared last week where I did use one of the four blocks. So if you haven't seen that video, you can find it in my feed. Today's card is going to be easy, it's not going to be very complicated or very bulky. However, just because it is quite big, I'm going for a 6x6 sized card today. It's going to make an impact, plus it's going to be a shaker card, so it is going to be interactive as well. Now I'm using my craft knife to create some slits at the center of my wreath and then I'm able to use my scissors and just take my time and fuzzy cut inside that wreath. I want to remove completely that blank space and it's not as complicated as it looks, I just go around the basic design and if I find something which is uh, quite difficult to go around, like a branch that's sticking out or a leaf, I just cut it off, no one will ever know what was there in the beginning. And you can see I have my window panel ready. Now I want to somehow uh, decorate that uh, lovely wreath with extra elements, you can actually cut out any elements that you see and any design that you see in the pad and just create a little uh, cluster on top of the wreath. I decided to go with simple flowers so I'm just going to fuzzy cut some of those poinsettias. And if you don't like fuzzy cutting keep always in mind that uh, with every Stamperia collection you are able to get the cutouts, the die cuts or the ephemeras. So you have plenty of choices there in case you don't like fuzzy cutting. And I need a background paper for my wreath, so I'm checking all the B-sides to see what would match perfectly with my wreath. I'm going for something quite subtle here, so I think that this is the best one that I can get and it gives me some uh, visual texture there without being very busy. And I'm also using my paper trimmer to cut out my acetate. This is going to go behind the window. So I do have all the panels that I need for creating my shaker window. So I'm using my double sided tape and I'm going all around my acetate. And as I'm doing that, let me know in the comments what are your suggestions for projects for the festive Fridays. Do you like to see more of uh, tags maybe, gift tags that you can use on your presents? If you want to see more of uh, greeting cards? If you like to see ornaments or other home decorations like shadow boxes? Or even our journals, I'm really open to suggestions, just let me know in the comments below. So I have my asset ready to go, now you can see how lovely the window looks and it's time to bring in my foam tape. Keep in mind if you remove the packing from your foam tape then it is easier to manipulate and you can go around uh, weird shapes like this one easier, instead of just cutting out straight lines of foam tape and going around it. Now always make sure that the two ends meet nice together, nicely together, otherwise your confetti is going to fall out of your card. Of course don't forget to add foam tape all around the edges just to make sure that everything is, be, is going to be nicely leveled. And for my confetti today I'm going to go with glamour glitter. It comes in different colors and it is like chunky glitter. As you can see, it's really lovely like little crystals and I'm going to use some of that. I do have the white, the clear color here and um, I'm just going to place them at the center of my panel. My window is quite big so I am going to add enough uh, confetti there. And you can definitely use this panel to stamp your sentiment or to impose your sentiment and have it inside the shaker window. This is not something that I chose to do for this card, but that's definitely an option. So I'm going to stick that panel behind and I'm pressing with my fingers to make sure that I have a good contact so all that confetti inside is not going to fly away. And now let's decorate the front a little bit. I do have my fuzzy cut poinsettia here. I'm adding a little bit of curve on uh, the petals. And then at the back I'm going to use some foam tape and stick it down. 
And again, remember, for this step, you can go really crazy with other elements as well and create a little cluster. It really depends on the style that you want to use. So, for example, in the same uh, paper pad, you will find a little dog, a cat, you can find uh, gifts and all those bits and pieces that you can play with to create a cluster. And in the same paper pad, you will find this page as well, which gives you lots of sentiments that you can fuzzy cut and use on top of your cards. Or you can use the empty sides at the back and just stamp the sentiment on top on those labels. And there are even tinier labels that you can fuzzy cut from other pages. I decided for this card to go with this smaller one that says Peace. And as I fuzzy cut it, notice that I leave the yellow bell there, as well as a petal of a poinsettia. It's not going to show when I stick it behind my other flower, but I do have a, a bigger piece so that I can add uh, glue or foam tape at the back and make sure that it's going to be nice and stable there. And if you follow my videos lately, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with decorative chips. I find them super easy and fun to use. Plus, they always add that extra touch on a cluster. So I'm mainly going with leaves here. And this is chipboard actually, laser cut chipboard. It's not wood, so your normal matte glue would do the trick. And when I'm repeating the same element in a cluster, I usually go with odd numbers. So here I added three leaves. And I can definitely stop here with my card. You see I have the second element, I do have some dimension. All I need to do is to stick it on top of a 6x6 uh, card. And remember in the previous video when I made the other 6x6, I just cut out a 12x12 white cardstock in two uh, and then fold it in half. That's why I still have the other 6x6 white card there. And I did mention in that video that I am going for another Festive Friday 6x6 card so that uh, this blank uh, card doesn't go to waste. And of course I need to add some finishing touches with my contour liner. So I'm going for the center of the poinsettia and adding some golden dots there. And I'm also going to add a few dots at the tips of those berries just to enhance them a little bit to add the touch of shine and dimension. Absolutely love this card design. I am lately loving the 6x6 size for a card. It gives you more space to play with many elements. And here are both of the cards together where I used for both of them just the 12 by 12 paper pad. And of course you can make way more cards with it. So here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. A list of supplies can be found down below in the description, just like always. Don't forget to leave me a comment and to click the like button. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time.